What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're talking about something really, really interesting and exciting that might save you a ton of time. We're talking about M Tracker Area by Motion VFX. I know especially if you're into real estate video like me, the question, the request is gonna come up all the time from clients. Hey, can you do an outline on the property? Hey, can you do pop-up graphics with text, tracking a house? Well, before that took forever, pretty big headache, but now it's actually really, really easy. And that's what we're getting into today. So thanks for joining. Now let's get into it. All right, so I actually just got back from shooting this really cool property in Colorado that I'm gonna pull up a few clips for and test this out on. And then I'm gonna show you guys some other examples that I'm gonna do later. It was this really nice luxury listing on about 40 acres of property. So super, super cool. It was a really fun experience to get to go do the shoot. If I'm a little bit sunburned, that's probably why. <laughs> Being outside all the time, it was great. So probably the main reason any of y'all are watching this video is for what I'm about to do. So here we go. So all you do is go into your effects tab down here, go to the M Tracker 3D folder, drag and drop this onto your footage, and then you just click track. A few moments later. So now it's tracked. Go up here, copy track, and then we've got our graphic on the layer above it and we click paste track and that's going to paste all that tracking data from the layer onto the animation layer. I'm probably not going to be perfect but here's generally the property line. It was about 40 acres so pretty huge. So I just drew the line around the edge of the property. You can do as many points as you want to. Once you draw it, you can even go in and click right here, add another point, add another point if you want it to get a little bit more precise. You can even go in and drag this little number and that will curve the lines actually. Now we can do all sorts of other customizations. You can change your line animation and let's put 40 acres as label one. To put the label on, we go here, click this, click label one, and we'll put it over here instead. That didn't look very good. And just put it at 90 degrees. Okay, so as you see, like it's just gonna move on the plane so I'm gonna go ahead and use this program on some other footage and I'm just gonna have that playing to show you guys some of the potential uses that you might have without spending like two hours doing a tutorial. Cause it's basically the same thing for every single shot. You just do some of the customizations a little bit differently and you can get different looks. So easy peasy. Disclaimer, they did send me this stuff for free to try out. So I'm probably a tiny bit biased because obviously anything is better when it's free, but uh, just giving you guys my honest opinions though. Okay, so it is not working how I was thinking it was gonna work, but maybe I'm just doing stuff wrong. I thought based on their advertising that you were gonna be able to do it on like the fronts of things and like while your drone's flying through stuff, but Maybe my camera movements and stuff are a little bit too complicated for it. Um, it worked really, really well on my simple pull away shot where you're just outlining the property line, which is really what the software is designed for. And that's what it's called is area. So labeling areas is what it's supposed to do. And I think it's doing a really good job at that, but <laughs> yeah, this one where I was thinking it was gonna fly through these trees and show this national forest area, it's just not really working out. <laughs> I actually ended up switching to editing on my laptop, which worked a little bit better. It has a faster processor and all that stuff. So probably not the right program for you if you have a really slow computer, 
Mine's not too fast, it's not too slow though. So what I decided to do was actually cut up the clips to the parts where I actually want the graphic to be and just track that part to save some time on my computer because it just took too long. I'm sure it's totally different if you have a M1 Mac or something better and newer. My computer is a little bit old at this point. So I could really see this product being useful for real estate especially, obviously. If you're doing drone shots, if you're doing normal shots and you want to put some stats on there, there's just a lot of creative things that you can do and if you buy it, you also get some other title packs and like pop-up graphic packs that could really come in handy for anybody making videos who wants to just like add some little bit leveled up production value in a simple way that's not gonna take you forever to learn. So I'm always looking for stuff like that and I'm sure you probably are too. <laughs> so this could really be something that helps you stand out in your competition and help you level up your videos and it could even be something that you upcharge for, which is ultimately something that is good for everybody because we're all just trying to make more money, make this a more sustainable career and uh, have a greater impact on our clients and make them more money too. So if they're able to impress people, if you're able to impress them, everybody's making more money, everybody's getting more clients and it's just overall a good thing. <laughs> This was my first time using it and I think the more you use it, the more it's going to affect how you shoot your videos and how you compose them because you might be thinking now, oh, I need a super wide shot with like five different spaces in it to where you can have like a graphic pop up here, 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 and here and have like a 20 second clip or something that normally would just be really boring and uninformative. But now with some text and animation stuff added in there, you could really keep that clip engaging. So a lot of really cool implications that I think you guys will probably have fun with. But overall, I think this is a really great tool and for the times that it does work perfectly, um, you can really level up your production value and only spend a few minutes doing it, which I think is what everybody wants. <laughs> So if you're interested in getting this product, this isn't a sponsored video or anything, but I do have an affiliate link down below the video to get you guys a discount and I'll get a little bit of a commission on that to help support the channel. So it's a win-win for everybody. If it's something that you think would help improve your workflow, that would help you get your videos back to your clients faster and help you add some leveled up production value to those projects. But anyways, thanks so much for being here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. Got some really cool stuff coming up. And if you're old, thanks for being here and the continued support. I really appreciate you guys and look forward to seeing all of you in the next one. Peace.